congratulations to today's daily shout out winners if you want to win a shout out leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in my next video hey guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here hi my name is lissy be sure to subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos because we are also getting so incredibly close to 2 million subscribers and i do not want you guys to miss out on that so be sure to subscribe button also guys try to drop a like on today's video using only your finger now that is really hard to do, so comment down below if you guys can do it. And today, guys, we are going to be talking about some of the world's most deadliest, most dangerous toys that were ever made or ever invented. And trust me, there is some crazy tea on a lot of toys that maybe even some of you guys owned when you guys were growing up. I know some of these I've actually played with and owned when I was a little girl, so it was shocking to see that they were recalled or super dangerous or even caused people to die. So without further ado, the tea is hot, and let's get right on into these stories. The first toy we're going to be talking about today is the Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kit kid. So if you guys haven't heard about Cabbage Patches, well I've talked about these toys in some previous videos, but there was this one specific Cabbage Patch doll that actually had a lot of kids terrified. These dolls were able to chew and they had a very powerful jaw on their mouth and they ended up getting recalled really fast because kids would get their hair stuck in the mouth of these dolls and the dolls would keep chewing and chewing and like pull their hair out. Not only that, some kids have had their fingers pinched and stuck inside of the mouths of these dolls. I don't know how or why but it has happened. Kids could feed their doll a variety of plastic snacks which could then be removed from the inside of the doll and reused again. The jaws were extremely powerful and they'd only stop chewing once they finished eating. So if a child happened to get their fingers or hair near the toy's mouth, they'd struggle to get the doll to stop eating them. In 1997, Mattel pulled the toy and offered a refund to anyone who had purchased one. These dolls were terrifying kids and parents and obviously were not the safest thing or most practical toy that you guys could get for your kid. I mean, they were terrifying look at how they chew like oh they're so creepy but yeah that's the tea about the cabbage patch snack time doll I wouldn't want that snack time doll snacking on my hair that would not end well so the next toy we're going to be talking about is the roller blade Barbie I've actually never heard of this Barbie before but this is crazy what happens with these things is insane as you guys know Barbie is probably one of the most famous toys in the entire world but they've made a large collection of different Barbie dolls over time in the 1991s there was a roller blade Barbie roller blade Barbie was unique for her flashing skates while her skates flash with harmless LED lights, they also literally fired out sparks when you rolled them over a flat surface. So these were a very large potential fire hazard for kids because while they were rolling their Barbies on their little roller skates, they were making literal sparks that could catch grass or anything on fire. That was not a smart choice for Mattel to release a literal roller blade that could spark a fire. <laughs> these things were recalled so incredibly fast, but yeah, they were recalled and no one ended up getting these ever again because they were not safe. So the next toy we're talking about is aqua dots. I actually had aqua dots when I was super little. They were one of my favorite toys and I remember I was so so sad and upset when they were pulled from the shelves but if I would have known why maybe I wouldn't have been as sad. Aqua dots were small arranged beads with water that you would spray and fuse together into different shapes and fun figures. It sounds fun right? But the problem with these was in 2007 these toys had a coating that released the compound GHB. GHB is a compound that would be used in a drug that people used to do very bad things with, um, pretty much pass people out, so that was extremely, extremely concerning that this was found on Aqua Dots, a children's toy. After three children went to comas after swallowing these small toxic pieces, the Consumer Product Safety Commissions recalled 4.2 million Aqua Dot kits. Some even caused seizures in children, and some even left children in comas. Several children in the US and Australia were taken to the hospital for urgent care after ingesting a number of these Aqua Dot beads. So yeah, they might look like they make a really cute design, and trust me, these things were so much fun as a kid, and it's crazy because I think they made like an updated version that's not dangerous or toxic that's on the shelves now because the other day I swear I saw one that was like called Beatles or some newer version of Aqua Dots which was shocking to me. I don't know how they ended up going back in stores but that is extremely concerning and now I'm terrified because I had the original Aqua Dots. So the next doll or dangerous toy we're going to be talking about today is called Sky Dancers. I'm sure you guys have seen these or at least heard of these. I definitely have because a lot of kids when I was in elementary school would bring these things to school school or you know recess time and they would always be playing with these things. I never had one but I've seen plenty. Sky dancers were sold in several different colors and styles including mini sky dancers and fairy flyers. The idea was simple. You'd pull a cord to make them spin into the air and they'd gracefully float back down to the earth. Unfortunately it didn't always work out like that. In their time sky dancers resulted in 100 reports of eye, teeth, and fatal injuries. And some kids even had one of these things fly right into their eyeball causing them to go blind. 
It turned out these dolls were susceptible to firing off in random directions and it was very easy to accidentally launch them into people's faces. The injuries reported and ranged from temporary blindness to painful facial lactrations that required several extensive stitches. After it became clear that the dolls weren't safe, production was halted and had an incredible 9 million of the toys recalled by manufacturers. These things were dangerous. And not only that, I've seen a meme before. I'm gonna see if I can put it on the screen here, but it was a meme of one of these dolls like landing into like the fireplace, catching on fire, and then trying to fly out. These things were not safe and they could cause a lot of problems. But they were kind of fun though, but not safe. So the next toy we're gonna be talking about is Easy Bake Oven. I'm sure you guys have all easily seen these things. I know that when I grew up, I always wanted an Easy Bake Oven and I would bake my family for one and they were like, no, those things are a ripoff. And plus we couldn't afford them back then because I grew up pretty broke But I would always sneak over to my neighbor's house and she had an easy bake oven So I know she was like a lot older than me She was probably like maybe 18 and I was like six so I'd bother her and be like yo Can I use your easy bake oven and she would like let me play with hers and I would like destroy it and cause chaos in the kitchen Anyways, these things have a crazy recall story in May 2006 Hasbro received a huge amount of complaints following the release of easy bake ovens the toy manufacturer received reports of 29 children getting their hands or fingers stuck in the oven's door. In addition, there were five reports of very serious burns. They actually caused third degree burns, which if you guys didn't know, that's one of the worst kind of burns that you can actually get and it causes a permanent scar. I actually have a scar, I doubt you guys can see, it's on my arm somewhere, but it's a third degree burn scar and I was baking a cake, how coincidental. But yeah, I kind of hit into the oven when I was baking a cake and I got a big scar there and it sucked. Yeah, easy bake ovens shouldn't be getting that hot because they're just a children's toy, but apparently they were. To address these problems, Hasbro replaced 2006 model with another model that included a plastic grate over the door. Still, problems persisted. A further 249 reports were logged, and 77 of which concerned burn. Worse still, 16 of these were second or third degree burn. One five-year-old had to have part of her finger amputated because of the damage of the burn of her Easy Bake Oven. That is so crazy. This little girl literally lost a finger just trying to use an Easy Bake Oven. Like, what? Those things are dangerous. And last but not least, we're going to be talking about a Burger King kids toy that caused some mega mega chaos and these were actually the Burger King Pokemon kids meal toy release and I'm wondering if I ever had these because I know at one point they had released some Burger King Pokemon toys and I remember I was hoarding them I was trying to go every day but let me tell you guys about why these were so incredibly dangerous Burger King began out giving harmless Pokemon ball toy with their kids meals towards the end of 1999 like a giant Kinder Surprise, the Burger King Pokemon ball would open up and reveal a small plastic Pokemon toy inside. It wasn't the toys themselves which caused the problems. Instead, the issue lay with the balls that concealed the toys. A four-month-old boy actually suffocated while playing with one of these toys. Very, very sad. And super concerning that they would release a toy that could literally have a kid suffocate. A 13-month-old girl and a four-month-old boy both suffocated to death when one half of the plastic balls became suctioned onto their faces and rendered them unable to breathe. Another young girl was almost killed in the same way, but luckily was saved when her father pulled the toy off of her face. This was one of the biggest recalls in history. Burger King ended up recalling 25 million of the Pokeballs. The fast food chain was also sued by the parents of the 13-month-old girl who tragically died, and two parties went out to a reach of monetary settlement on the court. That is so incredibly sad. Those kids were probably so happy to get their kids mail, and then, you know, they were pretty young, so they ended up like, playing with the toy and maybe their parents didn't see it for like a slight second and ended up suffocating which is crazy so that is really dangerous and it's crazy there's been so many different recall toys over the years comment down below what is one of the scariest toys you guys have ever had growing up for me I'm not so sure I mean maybe Furby because my Furby used to like you know, just randomly go off sometimes. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in my next video. Also, guys, be sure to check the description down below to follow my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, and all my other social medias. It's been Lissy. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.